Saudações usuários da força, vocês que são fãs de Star Wars, tio Bruninho na área e vamos continuar exatamente aqui de onde a gente parou em Tatooine, em Tatooine com a nossa linda Jedi 6, Cassandir, não me pergunte de onde eu tirei esse nome. Galera, eu vou pedir licença para vocês. Mas tá da música aqui, ó. Tá da música, tá da música. Mas eu vou tentar voltar em algum lugar aqui pra eu finalmente conseguir trocar meus cristal de sábio de luz, pelo amor de Deus. Eu pensei que ia ter algum lugar aqui nesse planeta que conseguisse trocar meu sábio de luz. E até agora nada. Estou totalmente desolado Porque eu comprei A única vez que eu gastei um dinheiro Nesse jogo foi para comprar um sabre Um cristal de sabre de luz Para botar um cristal de sabre de luz de lilás E não rola até agora Não rolou esse troço bicho. Depois a gente pega Side Quest Depois a gente pega tudo Mas eu vou para Titan Ou então Coruscant Para tentar trocar meu sabre de luz Porque não tem Nenhuma bagaça nesse troço. Deixa eu ver pra onde é que eu vou aqui. De dar consular aqui. Não, pronto. Sabe a frustração que eu tive? Tem dois planetas que. Dois planetas não. Na verdade eu comprei antes de Maqueb. Mas. Estou frustrado. Frustrado. Depois eu volto para esse troço aqui, desse planeta poeira, Mas eu vou trocar meu sábio de luz. Indeed. Sério, velho, que você tá, ainda tá com esse troço aí na tua cabeça porque você foi capturado, pai, pelo amor de Deus. You don't need to purge anything. The sense of shame is all in your mind. Agora eu curti, o bicho falou que o pai dele foi um grande caçador e que morreu numa parada, numa caça em Tatooine. Então para ele Tatooine é importantíssimo. Então eu vou com você, meu amigo, já que você tem sido meu companheiro. The scorekeeper's herald should witness such an act of reverence. Muito fera então, hein? Essa conversa foi importante então para minha relação com o Kaisan Press. Mas vamos lá, quero trocar o meu cristal de sabre de luz. 
acredito que já está sendo. Vai ter, né? Pelo amor de Deus. O Kaisen Fess, desculpa, mas agora. Quer dizer, Taran Cedrix, você é muito legal. Mas agora eu vou ficar com o Kaisen Fess. Tem muita side quest aqui nessa estação e eu não quero side quest, eu quero item modification items. Best post exchange around. You need it, we got it. Sei. Cara, eu poderia esvaziar Good meu inventário, mas não vai ser agora. Aqui achei. Aleluia. Agora aqui, agora eu quero meu sábio de luz. Quero meu sábio de luz. Isso. Acepte. Será? 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 Cadê? Meu Cristo, cadê? O meu... Minha cor linda maravilhosa. Cristo, o que, que é esse troço, cara? Que eu não consigo entender essa porcaria desse jogo. Acredito que eu. Caracas. Eu não tô acreditando nisso. E na verdade o jogo me fez eu desfazer do cristal que eu comprei, gastando muitos reais nele. É moleque, agora eu tô muito puto desse jogo. É. Eu falei, fiz propaganda dele, falando que ia me divertir e não me divertir porcaria nenhuma. Agora eu tô puto com esse jogo. Bom, é isso aí. Vamos continuar com essa porcaria desse cristal amarelo. Aqui mesmo, tá aqui. Vamos voltar pra aquela porcaria desse planeta de tatuinho. Ainda tô com essa porcaria dessa nevezinha aí, que eu não sei que troço é isso, não sei se tem a ver com o Natal, porque a gente tá no dia 23 de dezembro. Mas agora eu tô junto.
galera, já que meu amigo Kaisen Fess deu a missão de procurar os ossos do pai dele, eu tô vendo que é exatamente esse lugar aqui no Mar de Duna. Eu vou é atrás dessa missão agora, galera. Esqueci um pouquinho o arco do planeta porque meu amigo Kaisen Fess merece. Eu ainda não entendi essa neve que está saindo do meu corpo. Espero que isso não seja com relação ao Natal, porque no meu país não neva. Espero que o Star Wars entenda que existe um mundo além do, do hemisfério norte. Ah, tô puto com o jogo, gente. Desculpa essa lance aí de, de eu ter perdido meu cristal que eu comprei. Três dias depois. Dois mil anos depois. Not even the scorekeeper could resist. Quem que é esse babaca? O cara tá contemplando os ossos do Você tá interrompendo a gente, seu babaca. Kaisen e eu vim para honrar seus pais. Talvez tenhamos uma privacidade. Privacidade. Self-confidence isn't bad, but overconfidence will get you killed. Você é de tu não, cara. Tá rolando uma parada aqui, bicho. Você tá interrompendo. Você vai usar explosivo, você tem que enfrentar o um cara. Se você quer a glória de uma corrida, você tem que ganhar. Pode lavar essa arte. Mas não vou ter aqui. Não vou ter aqui. Deixa eu ver. Feliz, hein? Becil. Legal esse aspecto da personalidade do Kaisen Fest. Tá provando o pai dele de que ele faz parte de uma linhagem que merece os créditos dos Forkinder. Que legal. Nada de XP, mas pelo menos é uma... fechamos um arco legal aqui da história, cara. Que 
fera, que privilégio. Olha só que legal, cara, tá dizendo que Tatooine um dia não foi um planeta deserto, teve um desastre que transformou ele assim. E que o povo da areia foi vitorioso. Did it work? Did you see Master Eris' vision? What Master Eris saw wasn't mystical at all. It was a carving made by the Sand People. A carving? Now, Master Ares never mentioned a carving on those walls. What did it show? Let's see if I can explain this. I'm listening. The Sand People are the oldest group on Tatooine? <laughs> Doesn't say much for progress. Still, I bet none of them get the sand rot. <coughs> I have a hard time believing Master Ares would do anything so cockeyed as working with the Sand People. At least the Jawas are good for droid repair. He said it himself. He saw the vision on the wall and went to find the ultimate warriors. Wait. <clears throat> what did you say the symptoms of this thing were? Delusions? Paranoia? What violence? One group of sad people has been unusually aggressive lately. Normally they stick pretty close to their camps. <clears throat> I'm not saying I think Master Ares is behind it, but uh, maybe it's worth looking into. Now you're starting to use your brain. I, I can only go by what I've seen in a man. I'm sorry. There's a farm and settlement out at Malcolm's Dunes that's been reporting a lot of sand people activity. I'll meet you out there. I know some of those folks, and uh, I can help your investigation. I thought you weren't supposed to go out into the desert. Says who? Bunch of doctors never set foot outside of Anchorhead in their lives? <laughs> Besides, <laughs> it'll do me good. Beleza, seguinte, muito fera esse aqui, isso aqui revelou que um dia Tatooine não era deserto e que o povo da areia é um povo que superou essa mudança climática e se estabeleceu no deserto de né? No mar de Dunas e eles foram capazes de se adaptar à mutação do planeta. Aconteceu algum desastre, algum cataclisma ecológico que transformou o Tatooine nesse planeta deserto. Isso é muito legal, isso aí a gente só tem nesse jogo. Essa suposta história de Tatooine, né? Muito fera mesmo. Dá pra gente especular muita coisa. E aí o que, que acontece? É... Esse mestre. Esse mestre Eras Vassan, ele teve essa visão dessa pedra onde a gente está e ele está querendo usar o povo da areia 
uma vez que ele entende que o povo da areia tem uma capacidade de superação maior, superior a das outras espécies, ele está querendo utilizar o povo da areia como um exército para tomar o planeta. Em certa maneira de pensar, dá para interpretar que o povo da areia é realmente um os legítimos herdeiros de Tatooine. Eles são um povo mais antigo. Deixa eu ver pra onde é que eu tenho que, ir. que sair da caverna. Eles são um povo mais antigo. E são os remanescentes da história de, de Tatooine. Da geração que habitou o planeta inicialmente assim, na história, antes do cataclisma ecológico. Muito fera, cara, esse arco da história revela muita coisa. E eu realmente fiquei satisfeito. Muito satisfeito. No mesmo jogo, não deixando eu trocar o meu cristal. E morreu todo mundo aqui. Listen, Doc, we got broken vaporators, a pile of wounded, and our food stores are almost completely gone. That lunatic said he was a Jedi and a friend of yours. We trusted him. You better have a pretty good explanation for why this Master Ares keeps sending sand people out to attack us. That's the Jedi I'm looking for. Where is he? Another Jedi? Damn it, Delk. Why do you keep leading them here? Listen here. We've already lost too much to that master what's-his-face and his army of sand people. So why don't you just leave here quiet like and don't cause any more trouble? I'm not your enemy, so tell me where Master Ares is. This Jedi is not our enemy. Sure, right. Master Ares came through here a few weeks ago. Wanted to meet the sand people and study them. But ever since we pointed him to their camp, you could set your chrono by their attacks. We got nothing left. The sand people are your enemies, not me. If you want to fight the sand people, be our guest. But we got our hands full just defending the settlement. Here's a map of their camp. Some of our guys scoped out a side entrance a while back. It's a lot less crowded. Could be all the difference. There's something weird about the sand people. They seem faster and stronger than normal. Hmm. Well, I think I know where that is. I'll get some gear together and meet you out there, maybe provide backup. <laughs> you have my gratitude. Still can't believe the Master Ares I worked with is the same guy who's causing so much trouble. É, o cara tá piradão, cara. Pode acreditar que o mesmo cara que você trabalhou com ele tá piradão nas ideias. Bora. Ganhou sábio de luz novo, muito bem. Pelo menos isso, né? Witness it. After Oi. weeks of work, finally, an end to the darkness. Awesome. These people, these marvelous, marvelous specimens, have been tested, no, purified, in the crucible of Tatooine's harsh environs. They alone are the hope of the galaxy. 
Their strength, their society, is the blueprint of our salvation. Master Ares, you are very ill. No, not ill, not ill at all. They are simple, but long after the Empire and the Republic are gone, these people will remain. Their culture is built around strength. Certo, they cut the tá certo. away like a societal Depois cancer. Que... Don't you see? É it's the only way. Esse povo vai permanecer. E ele tá vendo isso. A chave da força para poder dominar o planeta. Mas os Jedi protegem os fracos. The Jedi Order has a responsibility to weak and strong alike. How can I make you understand? They are the ultimate warriors purified by hardship. We must follow their example and cut away everything that will make us weak in the face of our adversaries, the frail, the diseased. <laughs> You're not thinking straight now. <laughs> Look, I'm sick, Ares. Are you going to cast me out too? I have no choice. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. You are not yourself. These are not your thoughts. You fools! To oppose me is to reveal your own weakness. You will be cast out. Listen to me. I... I hear Lord Vivica's voice. I've failed him. Just as I failed my old friend Porcanus when he died. Who is this Lord Vivica? And why is he forcing you to remember this old friend? I don't know, but... I keep thinking about our first mission. Our ill-fated mission to Malachor III. We were all weak. We all came under the thrall of the dark side. We did things we regretted, but Barcanus was our strength. We tried to escape. I fell behind, and he ran back to save me. He became trapped. We had to leave him. It was my weakness that killed him. It's hard to lose a friend like that, but you have to move on. I'm trying to. That is the purpose of this project. Think about it. The Jedi Order spends so much time protecting the helpless and caring for the sick when we could be fighting the Empire. You must kill me. I was weak on Malachor III, and I'm weak now. But you must take my findings before the Council. Promise me that. Let's see how you feel once Lord Vivacar no longer has a hold on you. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivacor away. Uh, I no longer hear his voice. I almost... I almost wish you hadn't done that. Lord Vivacor twisted my mind, and I'm glad to be free of him. Still, my discovery remains from these sand people. I have learned the key to building the unstoppable army. I feel I must bring these findings to the Republic. Yet, I can't shake this feeling that some truths are best left buried in the sand. To defeat the Empire, the Republic will need every advantage. Yes, knowledge like this mustn't be hidden. I will return to Anchorhead and make my report. Thank you for your guidance, and for saving me from Vivica's grasp. Jedi. I can't say I would have done the same thing, but uh, I'm glad Master Ares is alive and his old self. <laughs> Best get back to Anchorhead myself. Sandrot's acting up and, uh, <coughs> well, frankly, sort of, sort of miss Darth Nurse's hollering. 
Just get out of here, then. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing, Jedi. <laughs> hope, hope you find this Lord Vivicar. Well, 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 muito louco isso. Acabamos o arco do Mestre Ezra Vassan. Eras Vassan. Libertamos ele da influência de, do Lord Vivica. Mas ao mesmo tempo temos a questão de que realmente esse conhecimento de sobrevivência do povo de areia pode ser útil para a república. Muito legal esses argumentos do Lord Vivica. Muito legal mesmo, gostei demais, gostei demais. Esse arco terminamos, agora vamos para a nossa nave para conversar no nosso Hollow Terminal. Mas vamos terminar esse field trip. Temos que voltar ao, ao representante Fowler. Still a few minutes before those scans are processed. Huh. What about Hey, look who made it back. Bad news, Fowler. That reading was a Zerka listening post. Blast! Lexende must have set it up. Now the cyborg freak has our data. Zerka can find their lost base as easily as we can. Zerka abandoned that base. Does it really matter if they find it now? We assumed Zerka came to keep us out of the facility. Maybe we were mistaken. Maybe they want what they left behind. Gromik's files. We saw some things. Yeah. Turns out Zerka didn't come to Tatooine to build or test the device. They found it here, underground. An artifact powerful enough to wipe out a planet, just buried in the desert. They shouldn't have left it behind. They're not getting it back. I agree completely. Zerka discovered the device. They analyzed it, then something happened that made them abandon it. Camus, has the computer cross-referenced the scans with Gromic schematics? Um, yes. Uh, it looks like the main entrance is a few kilometers away. Uh, what about the door codes? There's a bunch of relay towers around the base. They'll have a mess of data, the codes, along with old communications. Downloading everything from the relay towers will allow you to get into that base and destroy the device. You can't fall into the wrong hands. I'll be there shortly. Be careful in the base, in case they left traps, or if Lexende finds you. That'll do, Camus. Time to let professionals finish the job. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Dr. Sopern here. We've finished our initial catalog of the cave artifacts, which register as over 20,000 years old. You'd think that would narrow down the possible creators, wouldn't you? There weren't many societies capable of space travel in that period. But I can't find any society or species that fits these criteria. Even greed technology isn't comparable. Anyway, Dr. Larrick and I will study the primary device and assign lesser relics to the others to keep them busy. Hopefully, we'll find something useful. Zerka's going to make a fortune off this stuff if we can figure it out. End log. This is Director Antaean speaking. As you know, worker safety is one of Zerka's top priorities, and we take accidents seriously. Therefore, due to concerns surrounding studies of the device, we are implementing a new policy. An 
anyone wishing to perform a physical inspection of the device must get written authorization from myself and Dr. Daigo. The search using droids and remote scanners may continue normally. Please note that this does not affect our division's overall schedule. my concerns on the record before more people get hurt. I'm worried about the device. Its energy readings keep fluctuating and it appears to be trying to link with the lesser artifacts. I think it's a weapon, maybe a bomb. Soprin's theory about it being a Gree Enclave creation are inane. We've already got evidence of an ancient alien civilization visiting Tatooine and they weren't Gree. We've seen similar technology in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. I'm sure the Infinite Empire is tied to the device's origins no matter what anyone says and I'm tired of being ignored. Muito bem, estamos seguindo pistas de que uma antiga tecnologia que inclusive foi encontrada em Caxique pode ter sido a causa do cataclisma ecológico que transformou Tatooine no deserto e essa Xerca Corporation está querendo utilizar essa tecnologia para ganhar poder, né? Claro. Louco. É, agora me aparecem tropas imperiais. Para variar o Império Sif responsável pelas paradas. Well, Dr. Lyric is gone. He's put in for a transfer and is heading back to Anchorhead, taking one of the lesser relics with him. Good riddance. He was a pain to work with. Still. Lyric's theory about an ancient infinite empire and a master alien species was fringe science at best. But some of his data makes sense. I'm going to run a new series of tests tomorrow, using a remote arm to open up the device. We'll see where it goes from there. This is Director Anteum to all Zerka employees. Please listen and remain calm. A few minutes ago, we experienced a minor equipment failure in the main laboratory. As a precaution, we are initiating lockdown procedures. Do not attempt to override the system so the computers will respond with force. Stay where you are, and you'll be alerted when the situation resolves. Nice, I thought. Task man, yet Renascimento começou. Beleza.
Igen, fettem még fél törf, nem át kapja. I'd welcome the chance to discuss matters with you. Raven Jenga, Rama Goliath, Keper, Ruchi Jasno, Me Bagda Dress, Pastiak Tanel Bines for Casting Tea. Zinyes Dehe Druli, Das Bruli Fehead and Dangwa. What were you trying to achieve? There's Matzeke, Joe. Maestra Mehu Ruba. Even for Tami Field of Nama Kapela. I took to yet me big shuram. Me a de la tite man. How do you mean to accomplish that? Yet de emer zonat de. A me contias de meta. A beep de gelore. Lili bahura bahi de. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. We could never have excavated this place without your help. Oh, we knew where the base was. But getting inside, ghastly work. And I should say, I'm delighted to finally meet you in person. I don't have time for this, Lex Sunday. What's your hurry? Sit down and let's talk. You see, when I was assigned to stop the Republic from finding this facility, I was intrigued by the Doomsday device. That my superiors told me to stay away only whet my appetite. I decided to take the device for myself. 
What exactly do you want it for? I'm not sure yet. I could experiment on it, integrate it into my cybernetics, display it on the mantle, but hear me out. I'm offering a very large sum of credits, as well as rescinding the kill order on Camus, if you help me. Hand over the device, and the Republic never has to know. Tell Fala you destroyed it. What do you say? Does this answer your question? Was what it was worth? Oh, now you've left me no choice. I'm going to have to kill you. Painfully. My favorite Jedi. You look like you just walked out of a sandstorm. Was there a base? Did you see the device? Camus was worried that if you failed, it'd mean the end of the world. Well, I... You saw Zerka's records! Yeah, and I've been worried too, so catch your breath and let's hear it. Lexende ambushed me, but I stopped him and the device. Wish I could say I'm surprised. Thanks for handling him. So this is over? We're sure? You'll still need to testify, Camus. The investigation of Zerka won't end here. Get me to Coruscant, away from the Sand People and Circa Cyborg Assassins? I'll testify all you want. You should know. Scan has picked up a Zerka ship fleeing the system. They're running scared now. Too bad we couldn't bring down the entire company. We stopped the device from hurting anyone. That's enough of a win. Anyway, I promised you payment. Don't ever say the SIS isn't grateful. Now take care of yourself and try not to get pulled back into these corporate schemes. Camus can tell you, they never really end. Bom, galera, é isso aí. Estamos terminando o arco de Tatooine. Derrotamos um dispositivo da antiga raça alienígena de Hakata. Quem jogou o Knights of Old Republic sabe que eles foram responsáveis <coughs> pela construção da Forge Estelar. Então pode ter a ver com essa questão da Forge Estelar. E agora vamos para a nossa nave. Liberamos o mestre da Praga Sombria. Salvamos Kashyyyk. Salvamos Kashyyyk não, salvamos Tatum. Da desolação que essa tecnologia Hakata poderia acarretar sobre as mãos da Xerda Corporation, que é a corporação que não tem escrúpulos, suga os recursos naturais do planeta até se esgotarem. E muito louco isso tudo. Vamos lá terminar usar o nosso holo terminal. Master Eris has reported back to the council. Good work. He speaks of discoveries on Tatooine. We intend to hear his full report when he returns to Coruscant. Did you discover anything more about the Plague Master, this Lord Vivacar? Master Eris seemed to think that Vivacar was why he kept remembering Malachor III and his friend Parcanus. The connection between the events on Malachor III and our current circumstances is clearly forming. But we have accounted for all our missing masters and the Plague Master is still at large. We must discuss our findings in person. Return to us on Typhon immediately. We may yet find a way to locate Lord Vivacar. 
Beleza, galera? Muito show! Agora o mestre mandou a gente voltar para Titan. Mas vamos ficando por aqui. Foi muito bom esse arco de Tatooine. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Espero que vocês deixem seu like. Se inscreva no canal e ative as notificações. Vamos para uma próxima lá em Titan para saber o que está acontecendo. É hora de dar tchau. É isso é aí, galera. Um abraço é a todos. Tchau. Tchau. Que a força esteja com você.